Onfido is a background checking provider and we're all about making the process of background checking easier and enabling trust. The background checking process was quite broken. We were background checked ourselves, it was inefficient, error prone and sort of very slow, which we felt we could significantly improve. Onfido helps our customers achieve certainty at scale, certainty that they know who their customers are, who their employees are, where they work, and that they are everything that they say they were. We actually only hired our first employee about 18 months ago, um, and this time last year we were about 15 people. So since then, we raised our Series A funding and we've grown to around 60 now, based across London and San Francisco. The atmosphere and the, the, the people that work here are really great. I enjoy working with uh, different people uh, from several backgrounds and uh, very, very intelligent people. I think the people are great. I think that's a really big part of why I joined. Everyone's really friendly and really approachable and that's a really nice atmosphere to work in. So already we have six colleagues out in the States and that's going to grow, but as well as um, Europe and the States, we're increasingly doing more checks across the globe. So in many ways, we're going to be expanding into new geographies. So the team is broadly split half and half across uh, technical roles, engineering, product, research, etc. Uh, and the other half is uh, non-technical, so sales, marketing and operations. On the engineering side, it's great because we work with the latest technologies. The customer support uh, section are sort of fielding all calls that come into business and we also deal with any inquiries that come through by email or also the live chat um, system that is available on the website. Um, so that's dealing with both applicants who are filling in forms and may have difficulties doing that or uploading documents and also the clients um, that are paying to use the service. My main role is somewhere between sales, marketing and product. So that means I'm talking to lots of clients, particularly lots of startups in the sharing economy and on-demand sectors, uh, and I'm basically trying a trying to sell to them and b trying to work out what their requirements are, what their needs are, uh, in order to improve our product. Very laid-back kind of company, so we do. Uh, a lot of company dinner or we just go out for drinks during the week as well. Most of us kind of come in early, eat breakfast together at the breakfast tables, chat, kind of share, share interests and opinions. Um, we've got lots of formalised things, so we do team yoga, we do team spin, we do team football. Uh, we have monthly dinners at nice uh, restaurants in London. Uh, we have quarterly socials where we do mad things like absorb football or learn how to make sushi or, or whatever it might might be. So some of it is kind of formalised in that sense and then a lot of it is just people who get on well and have a laugh. Once a week or twice a week we have, we meet the lunch and uh, if a person would to share something about any technology but also any personal skills like can be, for example, guitar, you can learn from your colleague how to play a few chords or uh, how to use a software that you probably uh, didn't know how to use before. I've never worked with such an ambitious group of people, some of the targets I'm set, I think, oh my god, I can't possibly, and then you get a year down the line and you think, I'm so proud of having done that. Having a culture whereby everyone feels that their voice is heard and that everyone is therefore contributing to how we shape both the culture and the company. We have opportunities in so many markets, countries and industries where our product is relevant. And also we're growing so fast that the nature of the challenges that we face changes every single quarter. It's going to be amazing in the future and you get the opportunity to be involved in that and that's amazing.